Hello, uh, this is Mark Boyer, and this is a video on my macrobiotic superfood line of foods. Okay, now the unique thing about this line of foods is I can make it totally uh, non medicated, and I can also make them medicated, and uh, they're equally as delicious. Frankly, the medicated tastes better. Uh, at least that's what most people are telling me, okay? Now, the reality is, is what I'm using for these macrobiotic superfoods is the raw ingredient of both is something called chia seeds, okay? Chia seeds are, I got them in this cup, are little tiny black seeds uh, that were actually the form of currency for the Mayan soldiers, okay? And I make something called warrior porridge with those chia seeds. Uh, basically, I take a, a coconut. When, when chia seed wants to uh, expand, it, it absorbs a lot of water, 10 times more water than its actual weight. And when uh, in ancient times, they take a rock like slate, put a crack in the rock, throw chia seeds in the crack, add water, and the power of the chia seed to want to expand would crack the rock. Okay? And chia seed is outrageously nutritious, full of omega nutritional oily fats that are essential uh, for survival. It's a, a really high energy boost. And uh, you never, no one eats raw chia seed okay what you do with chia seed is you dilute it in water or in any juice or in milk or what i did it in is coconut milk 60 percent pure organic pulp uh, per, uh, uh, percentage wise uh, coconut milk uh, it's all natural and i put chia seed and coconut and I come up with this thick pudding like this okay and what I do there is I take carboxylated cannabis that I've had fine powdered and I add it in at the time I add the coconut milk and the chia seed okay and what happens is is the chia seed the essential oils that are so the, the, those really rich oils of the chia seed absorb the cannabinoids of the uh, carboxified cannabis that I put in the cup. Okay, and you end up with what is a, a nice thick pudding. And after refrigeration, this is like a block. Okay, it's just like a block. You can hold it upside down. It won't pour. It, you have to just literally pop it into a blender. Okay. Now, the trick is this here you can use as a concentrate. Okay. To make all kinds of delicious things. One of the items I make with this is I make a chia salsa. And that's a bowl of chia salsa. Okay. And that's a very nice, delicious salsa made with fresh tomatoes, onions, green peppers, cilantro, um, uh, chia seed, uh, some coconut milk. Uh, that you know, this stuff here, I transfer over into that, and it makes this beautiful, thick uh, chip dip that. Uh, to die for, okay? And in one of these, uh, there's two cookies worth of, uh, of my remarkable, with the same dose as two cookies. And technically, there's two of these in one of these, okay? This is eight ounces and this is 16, okay? Now, this here can be used as a salad dressing, but the biggest use for this stuff is I take one of these 8 ounce uh, concentrates and I add it with one of these, which is mango nectar. Okay, and I put this in a blender and I end up with that. Okay, 
and that's a blender full of uh, my uh, of mango uh, smoothie. Okay. Uh, in order to break up the chia seed, uh, you can't do that from the concentrate. But once you've diluted it down with the coconut juice, after three big whippings in a blender, you end up with uh, 44 ounces. You put uh, 32 ounces of nectar, 8 ounces of concentrate, and because you've whipped the nectar, uh, the, the chia, you end up with 44 ounces of smoothie. Okay, now uh, these smoothies are absolutely delicious, and an eight ounce cup of that is uh, a very satisfying uh, feeling and it, it works. Okay, now <coughs> it works very well, it's a good solid experience, and uh, you'd enjoy it. Okay, it's uh, now we also make uh, that non medicated. Okay. And it tastes almost as good. Okay, now, the, now the reality is, is if this is so that if someone had an event where, or a party, or a gathering, he could have over here uh, the non-medicated and the medicated over here for the people who don't want it. Now, the chip dip is the same. The chip dip, the chia uh, makes the preserves the the chip dip, so it has like a week, a week and a half life expectancy. Okay. Uh, which is a lot better than fresh salsa. Uh, but bottom line, this here, uh, you could have a, a dip over here and a dip there. One's medicated, one's non-medicated for any social event, okay, that you care to have. And that's, uh, uh, good, okay? Uh, this, uh, it's creative uses of chia. Now the chia, absorbs it's the essential oils of the chia that absorbs the pot and that transfers very quickly across to you as food uh the the the, the chia effect the the, the effect of the cannab cannabinoids on you because it's delivered by chia is uh, very fast okay it's twice the delivery system of doing it uh, uh through butter Okay, it's a much better, chia seed is a much better agent for carrying cannabinoids than butter. Okay, no, no questions asked, hands down. Now, with this chia seed base, uh, I also make what I call warrior porridge. Okay, and warrior porridge is using, uh, it looks like this. Okay, and it's this dark green, uh, coconut same thing as this this is just pot except this is spirulina uh, with a whole bunch of essential uh, ingredients to mask the nasty taste of spirulina okay I use a European uh, pure uh, rosehip puree which is the number one ingredient for killing the taste of the spirulina. I then use maple syrup. I use uh, bee pollen. I use coconut manna, which is the raw energy protein of the coconut. And I mix that in with, uh, in a serving like this, there is a quarter ounce of spirulina and about a half ounce of chia seed. And it makes a thick, dense pudding that uh, technically gives people, if you, this is a whole meal replacement. Actually, it's the whole day re replacement. Uh, if you eat one of these all by itself in one sitting, it's virtually impossible not to have a health food high. Okay. Spirulina, there is well over, there's, it's a mega dose of all the essential elements and nutrients that your body can have for days on end. It has uh, uh, goji berries and no, 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 uh, kamu berries in it. And the kamu berry, uh, there's a half a gram of kamu berry in each one of these. And it gives it a tartness. And that tartness really goes a long way to cover the ma and mask the taste of the spirulina. Okay, now this here. Uh, is an entire meal replacement and will give people what's called a health food high. 
okay, all by itself. Now, I without cannabis. Now, adding cannabis to this is a piece of cake. Okay, that that's so easy to do. So basically, it also falls under the realm of food that has cannabis and no cannabis. Now, what you can do with this is take this tub, put it in a blender with coconut milk, and you would end up with a quart, or the same 44 ounces, of chia mango smoothie. And they're, they really are delicious. Now, it has a health food taste that you'll either like or not like. Uh, uh, what can I say? Some people think uh, chia or uh, spirulina is disgusting. It re all by itself, it really tastes bad. It actually is the slime that grows on the ponds of the Himalayan mountains and of the uh, Kush mountains of the high, high elevation alkaline soil volcanic uh, origin lakes. It's a slime that grows on this. It's been around for billions of years. Literally, the chia, this slime that grows on ponds, is purported to be the first real living organism on Earth. It To this day, it contains all the essential elements and minerals that a human person needs to survive. Okay? If you really believe in the Darwinian theory and that the God the Creator came here and went, well, the Creator of mankind was spirulina. Okay, it survived the Permian belt, and for thousands and thousands of years, it's been the medicine of choice of humanity. And it, it, it the number one thing it does is a antitoxin releaser. Okay, you spirulina rids your body and a digestive system, especially of toxins. Now. I know it's a federal crime to make any health food claim of any health food item. But, you know, spirulino has been around for a few uh, nuclear ages. And it's been through the Permian belt and left intact. And eating spirulina will rid your body of radioactive toxins and I know it's a crime to make this statement because it would encourage people to have hope in something but you know what spirulina tastes terrible we make it in this concoction where it actually tastes good okay we go out of our way to fill that with goodness and you can find that information on my spirulina pamphlet on that you find online uh, which looks like this Okay, and it's got all the ingredients and nutritional facts on the back. And basically, spirulina is a way to rid your body of toxins. And it will rid your body of uh, radioactive uh, garbage, toxins that are in your body, at least in your digestive system. Okay, it's made to do that. Okay, now. Uh, and I know I'm open to public charges for saying such an outrageous you know, claim, uh, and it's bullshit. It's the FDA enforcing laws that are there to benefit the pharmaceutical corporations. And, you know, and what can I say? And Death Canada is all part of that, and they can go piss off a rope as far as I'm concerned. They're harming society with the use of pharmaceuticals. And the reality is they're against anything that God put on this earth to benefit mankind because they can't put a patent on it. They can't charge you through the nose for it. Okay? And it's got to end. And bottom line, this war against nutrition having any benefit to mankind. A doctor cannot give nutritional advice because he wasn't trained on it. He has to send you to a nutritionist, which is a specialty. Cha-ching! It's all compartmentalized, and what can I say? The way out of it and is to start eating right. Okay? Check into chia seeds. 
check into macrobiotic superfoods, uh, including spirulina. Uh, you can find them in any health food store. And I make a product here in Vancouver that uh, seems to be getting a very good response. Uh, these smoothies here are truly delicious and offer a really, really, really nice medicated high. And uh, what can I say? Try them out and thank you very much.